What about what about that? This this ain't that. All right, y'all, so I'm on the floor right now. Do not mind how I'm looking at it. Let me, let me do this video today. I really want to do it. Let me run you down on my hair. So a couple weeks ago, I cut some of my hair in the back. If y'all see some gel, don't mind it. But anyways, a couple of weeks ago, y'all, I cut my relaxed ends off of my hair in the back. So this is how my hair looks natural. My hair in the back is fully natural. It's still pretty long, but y'all, I cut... Oh my God, bro, I cut so much of my hair. Like my hair has never been this short. My hair has never been this short in my life. But now I'm about to cut the front today and it's gonna get shorter. But it's okay. Hey, my lips is ashy. Oh my gosh. Let's do this right now. I can't really see. So y'all see these little straight ends right there? We about to chop them off today. Them about to be gone. You know, I've been transitioning my hair slowly. Like I haven't been in a rush to like cut my hair. But let's do this right now, okay? So y'all can see pretty much what we're working with. So it says, should you wet your hair before you cut it? Or should you... Y'all, my lips too ashy. Hold on, but this is not gonna work. So I looked it up. It said, should you wet your hair first? Or can you do it dry? Or can you cut your hair dry? It said it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this now. Cause I plan on getting in a shower and like deep conditioning my hair. I need to get a mirror. I can't just cut my hair. What if I cut like too much? <sighs> cut my hair and i got this big oversized hoodie on bro i look i look beat for real there's no going back we doing this right now and it is what it is we Okay, now to this side. We gotta do the next side. I don't wanna do this. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is step one. I like it already. Like it looks so much more healthier. If you're new to my channel, you don't know what I'm doing. I have been transitioning my hair for about eight to nine months. Um, I had a got a relaxer last year, and my hair grew so fast. So, yeah, that's that's this video. I don't know how to. I don't even know what else to say in this video. That's the video right there. Pretty much my curl pattern. Y'all, shrinkage is real. No cap. Like shrinkage is definitely real. Curls, boy. I'm gonna get back to you guys later on. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Because I'm lit. And if you want to be lit, subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. But this. And this something. First thing I want to say is if you made it to the end of this video, you are OG. Thank you for watching. And let's jump right into this video. All right, so before we start, this is my natural hair. My hair is fully natural. My hair is healthy. I don't have any relaxed ends anymore. As you can see in the clips when I was cutting my relaxed ends off, I had left a little bit of the ends on. I cut those off. Let's get into the video, keep watching. All right, so in the second part of this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I grew my hair out so fast from the relaxer and how I transitioned so fast from relaxed to natural hair. So if you wanna know how I did that, keep watching. First thing I'm gonna do is tell you guys about my hair a little bit. So I got my last relaxer back in 2018 of last year. It is now 2019, it is March. It took me about eight to nine months to fully grow the relaxer out of my head. I had big chopped earlier, but I didn't want to do that. And I'm explaining to you why I didn't do that in this video. The first thing that I did to grow my hair out of the relaxer was I, is I stayed away from heat. Trying to go from relaxed hair to natural hair, you cannot put heat on your hair. You putting all the heat on your hair will actually damage the hair. Not helping the cause by putting more heat on your hair. You're trying to transition from relaxed. I did a lot of braid outs. I did a lot of protective styles like braids i did like i wore wigs so y'all know 
weeds, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to transition, do not put no heat on your hair. Do not put no blow dry on your hair. It's only gonna make it worse. You stop playing, so put that flat iron down. Next thing that I did was to tangle my hair frequently. So you know how like sometimes you put the product in your hair or whatever and you just comb through it real quick, you know what I'm saying? Braid it up, whatever you do. I would detangle my hair with my fingers where I would take the product and put it through all my hair so I can get my scalp, I can get all on the hair. So yeah. The third thing that I did was switch out my pillow. That was so corny. The third thing that I did was switch out my pillowcases from cotton to satin. Y'all, cotton pillows, they can actually pull your hair out. It can actually tangle your hair up. Cotton pillows reduce the split ends and it also helps your hair to not break off. That, that damn stuff we don't want. Number four, you, you do not have to big chop, y'all. I cut my hair slowly. Like, I would cut my hair probably, like, every two weeks or so. I would cut my end. I'm not even gonna lie. It's been times where I want to just cut my hair and just go ahead and just go natural. My hair was, like, this long. But I was like, nah, I'm just gonna wait it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna trust the process. That's one thing you gotta do. Trust the process. It's gonna happen. Your hair is gonna grow. I feel like trusting the process is one of the most important things, y'all. Trust the process. It's gonna happen. I just peed. Bro, I need to paint my walls. Ooh. All right, next thing, be patient, y'all. It took me eight to nine months. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna change from relaxed to natural hair overnight. Drink water. I've heard that when you drink water, you know, water help your skin, water help your, your body, water help your hair grow. So drink your water. All right, so I had posted on my Insta Snap like three, four months ago, asked me some questions because I'm filming this video and I wanted to know if you guys had any questions. So I wrote down five important questions that you guys asked about hair. So let's get into this. All right, question number one. Would you ever go back to a relaxer? No, I would never go back to a relaxer. I'm not even gonna lie. When I cut my hair back like three, four months ago, at first I was regretting like, you know, cutting my hair because the relaxer, it relaxed my hair. It was easy to comb, you know what I'm saying? Like, just make your hair more of like straight. But I definitely would not go back. It's just like, what do I need a relaxer for? You know what I'm saying? Like, just rock my natural hair. Question number two, what made you want to transition? Um, I was just getting tired of my hair. Like, I was getting tired of my hair being straight all the time. Like, relaxed hair, your hair is straight. Like, there's no curl pattern to it, really. Um, I was just getting tired of that look. I just wanted to be natural. I did a lot of braid outs. Um, the braid outs was cute, but I was just getting tired of my hair looking like that. Now I could do a wash and go and leave. You know what I'm saying? All right, question number three, do you like being natural? I love being natural. It can, it's, some, it's definitely pros and cons to, you know, maintaining and keeping up with being fully natural but i love it i would never get a relaxer again i don't i don't plan on getting a relaxer again embrace your natural hair sis number four what hair products did you use while transitioning and what do you use now while transitioning i use a lot of organic products and i still do now like for example i've been using this coconut oil by proline this stuff is organic i put it in my roots of my hair my scalp and i put it on the hair i also use this other um olive oil stuff and i use Something else. What is it called? I don't know. I'm going to try to leave it down below in the description so you guys can go shop. They should sponsor me. No cap. But I just use, like, basically just organic stuff. One thing that I did, I stayed away from the chemicals. Last question. Would you ever cut your hair again? I plan on cutting my hair. I'm going to let it grow out to its normal length. Y'all, my hair used to be past my chest. All right, so length check. My hair is decent length. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really complaining. My hair is growing. Honestly, I feel like me cutting my hair and deciding on going fully natural was like one of the best decisions I made with my hair. So I love my natural hair. I love my hair. I can't wait to get my hair done, dog. I want to give me a sewing or some, so I'm tired of doing my hair low. Yeah, that completes this video. That's how I transitioned. This is not a how to grow long hair out. Or out. This is just what I did and how my hair grew out. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys comment down below. What you want to see next, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at She's Kennedy. And make sure you subscribe right now because I'm lit. That was loud. That was, out. Oh, hold on, that was loud. Make sure you guys subscribe right now because I'm lit. And if you want to be lit, subscribe and join the family. Now I'm going to get on out of here, you guys. Make sure you guys do all that good stuff. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.